okay and we have not discussed about the availability group a configuration of availability group and define stock types okay these things we will discuss today class and a mapping storage locations from erp system to ewm system okay don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest ssp videos okay. uh, this is what we did in last classes and all so but if you map if you keep all your information whatever you are doing you know if you put together all so that almost you know entire erp to ewm integration uh, you are covering the document okay you don't need to write too many information you know, just you can add a few uh, imz locations or transaction locations or transaction or some you know you add your warehouse number so on so so that you know it 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 helps for you even real time how to prepare this erp to ewm document okay so let's i will move into sap and also like you know i just said like simplified version you know as a ewm consultant we can always check these rf settings in s4 system using like you know using sm59 whether rf destination is defined or not we can see whether logical system is defined in s4 system using bd54 okay and uh, and also we can check assign logical system to client okay and also whether uh, rf destination method calls is uh, whether we can determine like you know uh, how much time is required to transfer data from uh, erp to the ewm system i can use just bd97 you know to make sure that uh, both erp uh, system logical system and ewm logical system is existing if i double click there you know it's it's a, it, it takes another screen where you can test the connection test okay and you can see define queues and uh, even we discuss smqs okay see smqs and uh, smqr uh, so one is outbound one is the inbound okay this is the outbound automatic processing of uh, outbound queues smqr is automatic processing of uh, inbound queues it auto, it it happens automatically but you can check uh, through queues all these things and also some rfc settings in ewm side like you know define business system and maintain business system grouping and um, assign logical system and queue type and control for queue so we all all we have seen that okay but we will see that where business system will in place business system you know when you create a material in a ewm side uh, business system you know it acts as a like you know as a uh, like some kind of sif you know core interface like to transfer data from erp to ewm system though is embedded system uh, uh, we are using so it, there is no to transfer but any any product you know if you see any material the bsd is there like you know business system grouping is there uh, so it um, it acts as a like you know as a, some kind of um, uh, replicate the data from erp system to ewm system okay it generally you know bsd is a maintained in a product master but we are not enter into product master as of now okay uh, it is maintained in product master business uh, system but is it is replicated via sif from erp if it is a decentralized system if it is not decentralized is okay because you don't need to transfer data right there is no sif is there okay this all we have seen and um, so now we, just i will move to sap now don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest ssp videos okay some of things we need to do before that you know um because though we have created a, our plant and um, uh, so many things we have created am i right but whether um, if i want to create a material okay or it should be activated our plant should be activated so some uh, few settings because we missed last time few erp settings we need to do so that you know uh, our um, okay our plant you know 5710 uh, we need to activate it i mean it should be productive like like you know it should be in production way so that you know we can do of creation of materials and all and um, it should be material ledger should be activated for this one and also you should know that uh, 
some of thing you know while creating materials whether it's raw material whether it's finished goods or so on so on so there is a material attributes we need to update uh, under our uh, valuation the material attributes okay uh, though we copied 1710 but some of things may not be there but we will try to update that settings okay first i will use some uh, some settings very quickly okay so to activate your plant first to make sure that using these transactions okay omx1 check this omx1 activation of material ledger omx1 we can see even right side you know where we can say transaction okay make sure our plant is a uh, 5710 you need to make it active this flag okay otherwise you cannot create any material even if you create material only sap people can fix that you cannot fix it okay so this make sure that our valuation area even i can put this one so this one this is okay but this is very important okay this is a transaction but this material ledger is very important as of now see material ledger is there is a from the best practice system it is already taking material ledger our valuation area means our plant itself as we, as we discussed our valuation area very at the starting of the project they will decide whether valuation area at the plant level or storage level, uh, uh, or at the company core level so our valuation is the plant our plant itself is a valuation area okay 5710 and a company code and our material ledger is is a because since we don't want to go into too much about this thing so material ledger is uh, uh, 001 and uh, you need to activate this one just flag it and save this one and also there is another transaction class and omx3 okay omx3 make sure that our uh, make sure that our status should be green okay 5710 is our status is good okay omx3 and also we have one more uh, where i can see material ledger slash and omx2 omx2 see so this is our uh, material ledger okay so in this well company currency group currency is there but so say we are using direct best practice system 001 okay so just use three and omx1 omx2 omx3 now seek how how to activate our company uh, our our plant ckm start okay ckm start start put this one say our plant is 5710 just remove all processing and background okay just make sure see product production startup of material ledger so if you don't activate your plant you cannot create any any material or anything you know you, you will get it so you have to do this one before going to do any transactions okay okay just i'm 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 removing background just i'm running see we, we should not get any errors or anything okay see that if any errors we get okay th- we have all greens no errors see so now okay as so a background So I think I need to put it back. See, production start of material ledger is already done now. Even if you say the background processing, the test run also it says it's already done. It see, material ledger already productive in plant five seven one zero. This is a mandatory uh, steps. You know, without this one, you cannot create a material. This is the one thing we need to do that. And one more thing is. like you know as a cell like you know when we create a materials if i want to create a material mm01 okay so you, you select material you select to any industry whatever mechanical industry as in that so somebody has created is the best one in mechanical industry so material types we have see there are standard you know so a lot of people have been then what but ferrt is a finished product assume that you are creating ferrt finished product okay and whether you are creating a raw material roh is a raw material okay uh, this raw materials and also we make we may use the packaging brp packaging material 
Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Okay, these three we may use it majority time. Okay, one is a packing. If I want to create a packing, VERP we use it, and we use for the ROH for raw materials. We use for FERP any any finished product. This one. So, but if you want to be uh, make it um, this active, you know. So we need to set up some material uh, attributes. Where I can see material attributes, okay? Under the logistic general, if you go SPRO, okay, I'm, I'm putting, okay? Go to SPRO, under the SPRO, where we can see logistic general, under the logistic general material master, under that basic settings, under that we have a material types, okay? There is a defined attributes of material types. Whatever we have seen, or ROH, FERP, 